Hey everybody! So, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on in my life, and everything sucks now. Okay, so, today we are going to be doing LPS New versus Old. A lot of people have been doing this, but I'd like to do it because I don't know why. And I don't even know what the set is, I just put stuff together that was like right by my set. So, yeah, let's just get into... Ooh, I need to slow down. Okay, so, first of all, I don't know what this set is. I, I don't know what this set is. Oh, my dog. I can't say anything right. Okay, so, I don't know what this set is right now. And let's just get on to the video. First, we're going to start off with Great Danes. So... The older Great Dane has its ears cropped. The newer Great Dane doesn't. This one is sitting down. This one is standing up. This one has defined facial features. This one does too. And it is very shorter. Very much shorter than... Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe just the neck is just long. Because like, if you rest them like this... They're basically the same size, but it's just the hair tuft. So, those are the differences of the new versus old Great Danes. The noses, the face, the body, definitely. The tail looks different. Like, this one is smaller, this one's uh, bigger. And the paws are different, too. So, overall, the Great Danes are very, very different. Old short hair versus new short hair. So, this short hair, the newer one, has a very much longer tail and it is rested close to the ground. The paws are very small. The face is also a little small. And the eyes look very different. This one's tail is near close to the ground the paws are a little bit larger the ears are quite the same this one's eyes takes up a lot of the head there's different designs but like again the different there's different designs but we can't compare it because there's no this design of cat in the newer version this one has a little hair tuft the bodies are very different, but, oh my god, are you kidding me? The bodies are very different, but still alike. The pegs on the bottom, which I forgot to tell you guys, in the Great Dane, the newer Great Dane still has the same peg. The older Great Dane has a magnet also. Old short hair versus new short hair. So, this short hair... The newer one has a very much longer tail and it is rested close to the ground. The paws are very small. The face is also a little small. And the eyes look very different. This one's tail is near close to the ground. The paws are a little bit larger. The ears are quite the same. This one's eyes takes up a lot of the head. There's different designs, but like again, the different there's different designs, but we can't compare it because there's no this design of cat in the newer version. This one has a little hair tuft. The bodies are very different, but oh my god, are you kidding me? The bodies are very different, but still alike. The pegs on the bottom, which I forgot to tell you guys, in the Great Dane, the newer Great Dane still has the same peg. The older Great Dane has a magnet also. I hold this one because it's swiveling around, and I cut this one off of a McDonald's base. So, the older monkey has a little teddy bear. Its ears are up high a little bit. The face is really cute. The eyes are also very cute. 
all around very, very, very cute monkey. And the new monkey. Wait, so this old monkey doesn't have a tail. The new monkey does. It's a very long tail, which you can hang on your backpack as long as you trust people. Um, and she will probably fall off. Um, she has her long arms and her feet are out, just like this monkey back here. And she's really cute. She's got this peg. I don't know which mold of monkey, like this one, this peg has. I'm not sure. New hippo versus the old hippo. So, the old hippo has an overall really cute design. The, are you kidding me? The eyes are nice. And the legs are sprawled out. He's walking around. This one has its paws or feet out. I don't know. This one is not walking around. If you look on the back, they both have cute tails. This one's really cute. This one's really cute. The ears are very different. This one is like kind of folded over and these ones are just out. Um, this one has more of a sculpted face and doesn't and has teeth. This one doesn't really have a sculpted face, and this one does not have teeth. The hamsters. This one, the newer one, has small feet and very cute paws. An overall cute design, and the ears are very small, just like the hippos. Just like the older hippos, it's very similar. We got a little tiny tuft. The eyes take up like a lot of the face, just a little tiny mouth. And this one is crouching, kinda. And it has much larger ears, a big um, hair tuft. The tail is larger than this one. And just is really cute. To put her back here because she will not stand up at all so the newer one has a very cute body cute face cute everything um this one has a hair tuft has ears or obviously a bear has ears um cute little feet a tail and pretty much everything about it's really cute and the newer ones just take up the eyes just take up a lot of space of their face. This postcard pet is really adorable. There, his feet, or her feet is like out, kinda. She's like kinda crouching down. Meaning her feet, and she's not walking, just like the newer one. And her ears are bigger. There's a cute design. And the eyes are very adorable. So I really like them. I'm sorry about the background noise. I just want to keep my window open because um, it's nice to have some fresh air. So, I really hope you like this video. Which ones? Are you kidding me? There's a paper clip or a staple stuck to his leg. Okay, so tell me which generation you like and tell me around each of the pets which one is your favorite, new and old. If there's a new Great Dane that you like, and the old hamster that you like, that's just an example, but yeah. Alright, see you guys later. Bye! Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and...